Hey guys, um, I'm going to make a video about like what I would take with me when I travel for my makeup. Um, I do plan to travel the U.S. for three months, so I really am going to try not to leave anything that um, like I know I'm going to need. Um, first, I'm going to probably take my um, doll face like train case thing. Um, it's a little beat up. I've had this for like four years, you guys. And it comes with like a tray inside and then like, yeah, I can't really show you. This is like the inside. Yeah, I know it's kind of dirty, but yeah, I've had it for a while. Um, so I definitely plan to take this with me. Um, if I was going light traveling, you guys, I would take my Giorgio Armani like little makeup case or even this, but three months, this is no light packing. <laughs> Um, okay, so I'm just going to start what I would definitely, definitely take. Um, starting off with my Revlon Color Stain. Um, I actually have two of these just because I really, really don't want to be lost without one. So my Revlon Color Stain. Um, I'm going to take my Dream Matte Powder. Um, normally I use two colors of this, but since I'm traveling, I'm just going to take one because not necessary. My Dream Matte Mousse, just in case. Um, ooh, shit. My Cosmetic sponge. I will take more of these, of course, you guys. Um, and depending on the looks I want to take, because I'm only going to be doing three looks while I'm out. This one, my normal makeup, um, my blue and brown, and my orange one. Those are the only looks I plan to do just because I don't want to take a lot of makeup. So, of course, my Electric Eel for MAC, my MAC Carbon, and my MAC Blank Type. These are, like, three definitely important shadows that I will need. Um, my black, my blue, and my yellow, or my blank type. Oh, also, my, um, my MAC pigment in Genuine Orange. I'm definitely taking that. Um, I'm taking my, ooh, Powder Relief Gel for my base. Eyelash curlers. One brush. Well, this is my face brush. I don't use blush or anything. Um, a fluffy dome brush. Um, another fluffy dome brush and my eyebrow brush. Um, I'm going to take this, this e.l.f. eye transformer. Um, I'm taking this just because this is really good to have because like in an emergency and you don't feel like doing your makeup, I can just sweep one of these and throw some mascara on and I'm good. Um, I'm going to be taking two mascaras, one waterproof and one regular. Um, this Falsies mascara is fucking awesome. I don't care what anyone says about how crappy it is. This shit is the bomb. I love it. I plan to definitely, definitely buy that again. Um, I'm going to be taking three lip liners. I'm going to be taking my normal red one, my dark burgundy one, and like a lighter red one. I'm actually wearing all three of these today. Um, it just gives it like kind of like a... 3D effects, I guess I'm trying to say. I don't know. Um, I'm going to be taking two liquid eyeliners um, just because I use two different ones for different looks. Like, that sounds really weird, but, you know, it happens. So I'm taking a matte one and, like, a shinier one. Um, definitely I'm going to take a sharpener because you never know. Oh, of course, my MAC apparently paint pot. I would never leave anywhere without that. My duo eyelash glue. Um, my tweezers, my black Urban Decay 24-hour glide-on pencil, my, of course, I don't know, I should have started with this first, my MAC Russian Red, dude, this is my favorite, favorite lipstick, I would never go anywhere without this, my, um, Ardell eyeshadow, I mean, jeez, my Ardell, Ardell brow <laughs> shadow stuff, and for me, my most favorite precious item that I swear to God, if I could, I couldn't live without this item. My chapstick. Never would I leave. Never would chapstick. I will never leave you ever, ever, ever. I love you. <laughs> yeah, I'm a weirdo. So what? And I'm gonna take my NYX pencil in soft brown. Um, I have one in natural, but for some reason it looks more brown than natural, and it's weird. And I'm going to take a like. This is a, what is this called? Um, you know, to like split my hair. What's it called? I don't know, but for my pigtails, I'm going to need this to like do my line. 
and that's pretty much it ladies like seriously this is what I'm taking um I'm definitely going to be taking of course an eyeshadow brush my like flat shader brush um but like I said three months is a long time to be gone and not have the proper makeup so I'm definitely 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 if you didn't get what I meant by definitely I'm definitely going to like make sure I pack what I need um this is like not all my makeup but it's like my most important makeup that I need like I mean I kind of I think I'm thinking about taking my makeup forever and um number two this is like a bright orange I'm definitely thinking about taking this just just in case you know you never know what you're going to come across so yeah I don't know um, these are like pretty, oh, and I'm also going to take this, <clears throat> this right here is from Sally's Beauty Salon, and all they are are, um, bobby pins, but me, I buy, ooh, hello, I buy the ones in medium, because they're fucking awesome, because I have like little flyaways, and like the hairs back here, I don't know what the hell you guys call these, black people call them like kitchen hairs, so I guess that's what it is, I don't know why they're called kitchen hairs, but I don't know. I don't mean to be racist when I say black people call them that, but black people do call them kitchen hairs, right? I mean, I don't know. Black girls always tell me, like, ooh, girl, yeah, your kitchen hairs is chirally. I'm like, yeah, <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah, I don't mean to talk racist, you guys. I'm just fucking retarded when I talk. I don't know. So, toodles, you guys.